Yes, sir. What is up? What is up? What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. K-Way. We're coming at y'all with another vid, man. As you can see, we are already in the truck. We are already trying to bring out a vibes. Today, we got a little kind of similar, similar, same, same, different, different kind of route. Um, so right now, we are on 95 North, and we are headed up to um, West Hampton, New Jersey. So today, we got a load with some stops on it. We're going to go from... West Hampton to Perryville, Maryland, Perryville back to um, New Haven, and that is going to be our route for today. Um, I got the the you know the GPS, the Roadmaster up running right now, and then obviously I got my phone up and running because you you never know about the George Washington. You got to be pre-prepared to run around, especially coming from or in or leaving Connecticut, I should say. You got to be prepared to either run around it or catch it and run straight through it. So right now I got it, I got it up. When we get a little closer, probably like exit four, exit three, we'll start to decide if we're gonna run 87 to go around the traffic or if we're, if it's good to go and we're gonna run straight through the George. So I'm gonna catch you guys. I'll probably start a time lapse from now. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, man. It's your boy, Mr. K Wavy, man. We the team, we the dream. Like, comment, subscribe, and join the wave team. And you already know the vibes, man. Let's go. Yeah. All right, y'all. For all my truck drivers that's coming out of the, the New England, yeah, the New England area, mainly Connecticut, I need to know, everybody that goes 95 into New York, when y'all get to like exit 10 all the way to the New York border, I need y'all to please comment below. Do y'all feel how warped this middle lane is? Like, can we please do something about this middle lane? I'm telling you right now, with the truck being still and me holding it like this, the trailer will sit there and dance. When I say dance, it's, it's bad. When I'm loaded, oh man, I'm all over the place. Empty is just as worse, but like when I'm loaded, I feel like I, I don't like it, me personally, you know? Sometimes when I'm like got heavy on me, like when I'm heavy, heavy, yeah, like I'm a little stable, but on some light loads, bringing them back, yeah, man, this, 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 this ain't it. Um, another disclaimer for everybody that's new to my videos, we got um, like three speedometers running in the truck. The cluster works perfectly fine older truck you know they do how it do sometimes sometimes it might want to chip out if be but we got another one up here but i do have to let y'all know that this speedometer up here reads a little faster than what i'm actually going so if i'm doing like 65 or 68 it'll read like 73 70 72 that's not the speed i'm going i want to say that from now because i don't need any of y'all commenting down below oh my god he's flying slow down yeah mind your business i'm not I just put down like right now look at that look at that it says 70 i'm doing 67 oh, 68 like come okay i need to mind your business please you know but yeah as i was telling you before though we got the we got the um the phone up right now and as y'all can see george right there it is good to go we'll zoom out a little bit don't use your phone and drive but obviously you know gps so it's high all green no red so we are not gonna go exit 21 we're not gonna run around it we're gonna run straight down 95 right to the jersey turnpike and that's probably when i'll catch you guys back for some more audio footage but until then hope you guys enjoy this time lapse and let's get into the video Yeet. I had to stop the time lapse, but yeah, I wanted to catch a video of this truck right here. Hopefully, I can catch it. Look at this dude, not even holding his name. I'm gonna go try and show y'all this truck. Look at this PD, y'all. I, I think the truck is white and or baby blue. Uh, let me see if I can turn out the window. That thing looks nice, man. teach y'all a little trick right here you always want to come to the right side of 95 for two reasons for two main reasons number one
this, but when you're going down 95 and you're already on the right side, I said the left, when you're already on the right side, you're already in the correct lane. When you're on the left side, you need to come to 95, that, that two lane turns to one lane and there's always a slow backup over there. So if you're already on this side, you don't have to worry about it. You got two lanes to go through traffic. When I get closer, I'll show you guys. And then after that, I'll probably wait till I get a little more further down the road to give you guys some more time lapse. But just a little tip for you guys when you're, when you're going down 95 from New York to Jersey, help you guys out in the long run, you know? Let go. You know what? Even right here is a more better example as to why I stick to this side right here. I remember that, that, that truck I showed y'all. It takes more time to get to this side so when he got on the highway, look, he, we're already passing. We're already passing. And this is what I mean by 95 and 80. Going 80, I, I don't know if it'll work out good for you guys or not, or whatever the case may be. But right here is where I'm gonna show you guys a little trick to be able to always beat some traffic. So even right here, we're gonna stay in the right lane. I might, I might go middle to show you guys. So over there, obviously if y'all drive, y'all know what it is. But over there, it goes from two lanes to one lane. And if there's heavy traffic over there, like all those trucks that's back there, when they cram up right here, they don't realize it goes to one lane. So they all try and beat each other to see who can get there first. Meanwhile, while they're fighting, you're flying through. Tips and tricks that you guys never knew. Always go, I was that local? I think it was, or express? I don't even remember. I've been, I just, I know the route, but I wouldn't be able to explain it to you guys. But you guys have seen it and you know what I mean. So, a little tip for you guys. I'll catch you guys when we get a little more further down the road. Let's go. All right, y'all. Uh, here I am checking in with y'all real quick. Um, we are now off of 95, and I was watching my gauges as you should always. And I'm like, yeah, we could probably go for a little bit of fuel before we head down to, uh, to Jersey. Well, we're in Jersey because we're about to pull into the petrol right now. But I'm thinking that I fuel up from now so that way I could do a straight shot from Maryland all the way to um, back to CT. I figure I just make it easier on myself. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Grab my little ticket. Damn. They said I'm not paying. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm definitely not close enough. Get my slip. Get for your boy. It's a lot more trucks here tonight. The other night, this place was dead. Mad parking spots. So dudes start making their own spots when they ain't no parking. Oh man, it looks like there's a lot of trucks here too. Can I get a made of fuel? Damn. All right, what time is it? I know they do a reset. Yes, sir. That's what we love to see. Gotta love it. I hope this rack works and he didn't move the garbage can. So why he do that? Why? All right, yo, my suspicions was correct. That bay is well closed. I just had to freaking back out of there. And I'm pretty sure that the pumps are shut down right now, so. Probably doing a shift change as to why the pumps are down. Damn, man. I was trying to fuel and get out of here like right now. Nobody's fueling. Well, I'm gonna catch you guys once I find a bay and everything. Let y'all see the price of diesel. Dumb high. What do you want to see? 
wipe y'all off just in case y'all can see that a little bit. Yeah, y'all see that. So we're gonna fill up the truck right now, do what we gotta do. We're gonna get out of here, grab our loaded trailer and shoot up to um, Maryland and then shoot back to CT. I'll grab driving footage and everything for y'all. But for the most part, we are gonna be good to go, ready to go. Trailer is good, truck is good. I feel like this light, this light always giving trouble. It's like always going out every now and then. But it's working before I left, but hey. Trailer's all good. We're about to drop this anyways, but we'll catch you guys when we're done fueling and see how much we spend. Let's go. myself a few more snacks just because i'll probably end up getting a little i guess tiresome would be the word so i'm trying to grab a little snack keep me going uh, ain't no need to stop where we go and play boy but i'll probably catch you guys once i'm back up in um the guard shack at jersey because from here on out you guys have seen this route in my previous video so i will catch you guys on the road let go Yee! All right, y'all, we are now here inside of um, Jersey's yard. Cut the lights, 696-149. That's what our paperwork says, so that is what we are looking for. I'm actually gonna double check the paperwork right now. 696-149, that is our trailer. 696-149. I know this is probably parts of the video that you guys probably would not wanna see, but bring you guys along you know six nine six one four nine yo earlier in the video i definitely had said this is fine right there with the drop is in the earlier in the video i had said i was going 95 south when i was definitely going 95 north i mean i said i was going north and i was going south don't judge me guys i was speaking too fast that's all it was six nine six Sometimes it kind of sucks when the trailer that we need is all the way at the end. It doesn't really matter too much. It's just more time that we could have probably hooked in books from a while ago. I'm going to drop this right here. Because I feel like our trailer got to be down there. Down there somewhere. So we're just going to drop this right here. Still not seen at 696149. It's either way at the end down there or we passed it. Y'all ain't, ain't tell me. It's crazy about y'all.
Drop a comment down below if you be backing up with your door wide open. Don't gotta be perfect, but I probably gotta go back some more. Building. Truck might be cooking with a trailer in there. Alright. Just like that. Give air back to the trailer. Say bye bye to our empty trailer. Loaded somewhere down here. Six nine six one four nine. I guarantee I'll probably jump past it. It's a Landstar trailer, so all these other trailers don't matter to me. We pull only Landstar. See what I tell you? Six nine six. I just had a feeling. Literally, I just had a feeling. Six nine six one four nine. Yes, sir. Up again. Let's check our seal. 1113. Everything seems to be in the up and up. We're gonna be good to go. I love how these trailers that when they sit for too long and hook the air up to them, it airs it up. I feel like that's that's a, I like how they did that. That's a nice tire, you know, as we go by, but I like how they did it. I feel like that's really good to have, especially on trailers that sit for a long time like these. You know, they don't get used for a while or if nobody comes to pick them up. But, now that we are done there, every trailer that we pick up, after we do our thing, we're supposed to do a VIR for them. Type in our trailer number, 696149. Oops, 19, next. I already checked my trailer, no defects, no defects. Submit VIR, submit. After that is all said and done. Push down there. Now, Omnitrix is all set and up to date. We're gonna make a move on. Trying not to take out that trailer that's next to us at the same time. Yeah, it was a little tight, but I play it safe. Now we head back to the guard shack, check out. And as of now, I feel like you guys should know the procedure, but just in case you don't, 
He's gonna check our trailer, our um, our trailer, our seal number, and we are gonna be ready to go. So hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on some B-roll, and I guess I should say time lapse on our way up to Perryville, Maryland. Let's go. Yee. because it was supposed to come out at 11.30 last night and the current time is now 1.11 a.m. I had a high hopes that by the time I get here, it would be ready. But the guy just told me that I gotta sit and wait for an hour. Hopefully it'll be out by 2.30. But he said that it's probably out here ready to go, but he doesn't have the paperwork to give me. So I can't technically, he can't give me the work if he doesn't have it. So the guy, I guess the shift ends inside at like 2.30 to 2.45. So he said, try around that time to come back. So we, we got a little hour and some change to wait. What's probably gonna happen is we're probably gonna have to pull over and wait and probably take a little snooze or something or I don't know, but we'll be all good to, to make it back. Even with this little delay that we're having right now. I'm heading over to the, if you guys see my last video, I know this building is massive. I'm heading over to the other side of the building to drop my loaded trailer and then pull back out and then probably go park with all those other trucks if you guys seen that that we passed in the time lapse so that's what we're gonna do now um it's pretty dark outside i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get you guys any good backup or um yeah backing up footage so i'll probably do it like how i did it in jersey from the door good old door angle out the door but um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe on the vid. Uh, I will catch you guys probably, hopefully, when the load is ready. So, or no, ha, I lied. I'll catch you guys when we drop in this trailer. Ha, let's go. Yay! All right, y'all. We got a nice side that I'm over here. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. We just gonna put the trailer back and then do one nice pull up because. I can't really. Funny thing is, I put it in a spot nicely. I just wasn't paying attention fully, but it's all right. It's not like, oh, look at that. All I had to do was straighten her up. Straighten her up, but we would have been good to go. Let's see if we can do this 
quicker. I can't lie, he beat me to it. I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> I dropped the air too quick. I dropped the air too quick and he beat me to it. That's all right. We still dropped him. We're gonna go park up now, wait for our load. Get the fuck out of here. All right, so catch y'all in the loads ready. All right, y'all. Uh, so I definitely told y'all that when running Landstar, we don't pull anything else besides Landstar trailers. But yes, Landstar leases out trailers. And today's the day I'm gonna be pulling one of these trailers. Everything else so far seems good. Electrical tires are good. Let me double check this to see if 206. 2060, 9855. 2060, 9855. Probably gonna have to slide our tandems. We're gonna jump on the scale right now and check our weight. Um, I don't even remember. I think it was like three o'clock. The load came out super late. Hopefully, we should be good to make it back and everything. We're gonna put the information for the trailer in, run on the scale, and then get out of here as quick as we can. I'll catch you guys on the scale. in door one and we're gonna pull door two um same procedure as last i'm not gonna do a lot of recording i'm just gonna catch you guys when i'm hooked up to our empty just to make it simple so i can get in and out in a timely manner because we got somebody coming to wash the truck and he's at the yard already so we're gonna we're gonna make sure we make our way to the yard in a pretty timely manner ourselves so let's go all right y'all a little bit of a hectic day but we're at the yard now um, the guys that were here waiting for us, they're washing the truck already. I'm most likely gonna give you guys an after of the truck being all done, said and done. So for right now, um, like, comment, subscribe on the video. This is the end of today's video. We the team, we the dream, join the wave team. And I'll catch you guys once the truck is fully washed and I'll give you guys the end result. Let's go. Yee! I'll give you guys a